So, your team is adopting Kubernetes. You've deployed some microservices into the cluster and they're able to talk to each other just fine. But communication with the front end, that's a problem that hasn't really been solved. You've got a basic proof of concept set up that let the React Spa talk to a backend service, but you have lots of microservices. Oh, and the mobile teams want to adopt HTTP3 because it's better for drop connections. And there's a new customer service chat widget that uses WebSockets, which are getting messed up by the cluster. Setting up TLS certificates has been a pain, and the security team is on you to get cores settings handled. And of course, you'd like to configure things in code because you're a developer, that's what you do. We made Emissary Ingress and Ambassador Edge Stack to solve your problems. First, let's talk about what devs don't have to do anymore because deleting code is awesome. Edge Stack can handle TLS certificates, hosts, and security features like cores and authentication. Whoever manages the cluster like a platform or ops team can do that once and all app teams benefit and can get back to focusing on their apps. No more if env is not equal to dev do a bunch of complex TLS stuff code. What Emissary Ingress gives you full control over is how traffic reaches your app, and we support anything you've got. Because Emissary uses declarative configuration, just like Kubernetes, you can set everything up right next to the code you use to deploy your app, like in your Helm chart or customize project, all without having to create a ticket for the platform team to get things set up. Let me show you how it works. Here's the code for deploying my apps. Each one has a deployment, a service, an autoscaler, etc. Now I'm going to add a mapping, which is an edge stack custom resource. Mappings tell Emissary how and where to route traffic. I'm creating a mapping for my user's microservice. I've set a host name and prefix, so any requests that come to api.thedevelopnic.com on the slash user service path will now get routed to my service. You can configure timeouts, redirects, retries, and more. Emissary can intelligently order the priority of mappings based on how specific they are, like if I want a longer timeout on slash users slash reports than on other slash users paths. Ambassador Edge Stack extends Emissary Ingress and adds lots of great features. With our GitHub integration, we even automatically analyze new configuration changes to show you new routes and metrics that the PR will create, and make sure you're not about to create a mapping that conflicts with another team. My team is also responsible for a new chat service that uses WebSockets, which use long-lived connections. Requests have to go to the same server every time. Here are the mappings for the chat service. One is the main mapping for REST requests, and another which allows WebSocket upgrades on the path slash WS. That mapping also load balances using the user's IP address to make sure that sessions are sticky and the WebSocket connection doesn't get interrupted. Emissary is capable and flexible. Using multiple protocols, we support everything from HTTP 1 to HTTP 3, including gRPC. Breaking a monolith into microservices or incrementally migrating? Implement the strangler pattern by starting with a mapping that sends everything to the monolith, then add more specific ones as you break out functions. EdgeStack accommodates your needs and evolves with your architecture. Ambassador EdgeStack works with the open source project Argo CD to support Canary deployments. Here I'm deploying a new version of my user service, and I want to handle any regressions before they affect all my users. I can set how long I want the Canary period to be, and how fast it ramps up, and watch the progress in real time. EdgeStack will route the correct amount of requests to the old and new versions at each phase of the rollout. Of course, to know if that's going well, I need to have metrics. Emissary emits Prometheus metrics that can be consumed by internal tools and all the major APM and observability platforms. I can easily track latency, error rates, and throughput in my services to ensure my deployments are healthy. EdgeStack isn't just an API gateway. It's everything you need to handle requests to your services on your team's schedule. EdgeStack simplifies your code by handling the stuff that networks and platforms should handle so your app doesn't have to. You can try Emissary Ingress and Ambassador EdgeStack for free by visiting a8r.io slash edgestack. We'll walk you through getting your first service configured in just a few minutes.